Daddy Wawi. Ah, pagod. Thank you. At dinala-dala ko talaga yung mic. Okay, that was just a warm-up, guys, because there, there's more of that. You enjoyed it? Remember those songs? That's our era. I love you. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself? That's the whole point of tonight. Tonight, we should just let our hair down. Look at that. And just enjoy. Forget our problems. We have so much of that. The minute we get, we leave this venue, there's a lot of that. Tonight, we're just going to simply have fun. As I was saying earlier, madami pong friends na sumaport talaga for this show. As a matter of fact, when I announced that I am going to do a show, she actually texted me. Sabi niya, I'm going to be in Manila. Can I watch her show? Watch my show? Hello, she has to be a part of this show. Why? Because this song, which we recorded years back, mga 28 lang po ako tandaan niya. But anyway, years back, became another huge hit. I don't remember, maybe there is another song like it, where it talks about two friends, two friends with different, with different choices in life. Diba? And I think that's why it became a hit. It became a theme song. A lot of friends that are good friends, but are very different. And, uh, alam niyo na ba yung sinasabi ko? Daming clues, diba? All the way from Canada, please welcome Miss Joey Albert. Hello. Joey. Palakpakan po natin si Joey. And thank you for sharing this song with me. Never thought you'd ask. <laughs> the same if I don't get to do this song. Do you realize how old this song is? No, don't tell them. <laughs> they only know I'm 28. But yes, this song has been recorded and yeah, 1984. And a lot of a lot of women actually come up to me and they tell me that's my friends um, and I's theme song. So ito po yun. Para sa mga magkakaibigan. Katulad namin siya.
Joey has several shows here in Manila. Please do catch it. Another guest of mine, I thought it bought.